Hey there everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can save your OneNote pages as PDF documents. Alright, so before we get stuck into this one, don't forget if you love what we do, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that little subscribe button and you're going to get notified when we keep releasing new content for you to learn. So we're gonna have a look at how we do this in three versions of OneNote. We're gonna have a look at OneNote for Windows 10, OneNote just on Windows, and we're going to also have a look at the Mac OS version. So let's head over and have a look at how to do it first on OneNote for Windows 10. Let's look first at how we would do this for OneNote for Windows 10. Saving as a PDF actually means that you want to print and so to get into the right settings, what we do is we hold down control and hit P. From there, our printer options will open and you might not necessarily default to this one that we're gonna to use today, which is Microsoft Print to PDF. You may need to navigate from your printer to that option. If you're using Adobe, you might also notice that Adobe PDF comes up and you can use that the same as well. But we're gonna use Microsoft Print to PDF today. So you can change orientation of the page if you need to. Here you can select whether you just want uh, that page, whether you want the entire section of work, whether you want a group section, or whether you'd like to save the entire notebook as a PDF. This one here is a pretty important. It's the ability to scale down the work to fit on the page. So if this document did go outside of those typical A4 lines, that we could ask it to basically shrink it down to fit. So from here, we're going to select print, even though it feels like it should say save. I'm going to call it test for now, just so I can find it quickly. And I'm going to choose to save that. Now, when I open up my Explorer, here it is there, that new PDF document. And if we choose to open that up, we will see that that OneNote page now has been saved as a PDF. Let's now have a look at how we do this for OneNote on Windows. For this one here, again, you can press down on Control P and it will bring up your printer settings and you'll notice that they look similar-ish to the Windows 10 version. I do personally prefer going to File then to Print and then choosing the Print Preview just to see how the formatting looks. The, it will automatically scale this down. So you'll notice that the scale content with paper width is on, and that is on by default. So from here, I can then choose to print. We will notice that the Microsoft Print to PDF has been selected, and then it's picked up that out of the pages in my sections that it's page 32 that I am wanting to save as a PDF. So from here, I hit down on print again, I'm going to, just like before, just call this test so I can find it quickly, click save, and then in a similar fashion to what we experienced with Windows 10, I have the same document saved as a PDF on my device from OneNote. So our last one is going to be how we can do this on the Mac OS version. And the Mac OS version is a little bit trickier than the others. Essentially, it doesn't like to scale to fit. So you've got two options here. On this page here, I've actually reformatted or designed this page so that it will fit inside those margins. If I was to bring this out a bit to explain, essentially, just like on our other devices, but on a Mac, we hold down Command and then hit P to bring up our print options. You'll see how here it doesn't quite fit on the page. Now, if I was to cancel, come back and bring that section here back over to where I um, had it before, so maybe about there, and did the same thing, we can see that it now fits nice and neatly. One of your other one of your options here is to change the layouts. This is the number of sheets that fit on a page. It can be a little bit tricky getting that correct and the the direction of which they flow. But normally, I would recommend that if you feel like you're going to be printing these pages, that you just keep things 
within this set margin and you just test it um, to see if everything's fitting nicely. So if you are also working with these defined margins here, so I would never put anything to the right hand side, is that you can also choose to come to file and then you can go save as a PDF. So if that all fits nicely because it doesn't give you any previews, I'm going to um, I'll pop it on the desktop here, go save and then everything's done. Otherwise we can go um, to print, so either command P like we said before or I can choose uh, print here from my file menu. And then essentially what I do is that I look for this little PDF um, drop down menu here. And I'm gonna go that I want to save this as a PDF. So I will select that. It kind of gives me some more options here. I'm just gonna call this uh, test like I did with the other one before. It's probably gonna ask me to replace it. Yes, that's fine. And then off it goes. So then when I go to my finder window, here it is here, my test document, and that has opened up for me in Adobe. And I can see that process there sitting nice and neatly on a PDF page. Anyway guys, I hope that you find that super helpful. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section.